In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about three tips for a healthy work-to-break ratio as a solopreneur. One thing many solopreneurs struggle with is feeling overwhelmed and overworked since they handle all their business themselves. Not to mention many solopreneurs feel like they have to keep working in order to make enough money to support their lifestyle and goals. All around, overwork and burnout are some real challenges that the everyday solopreneur faces. One way that solopreneurs can tackle these issues is by having a healthy work-to-break or work-to-life ratio. Here are three tips for achieving a healthy work-to-break ratio to help you keep motivated and healthy, even as a solopreneur. 1. Set up work hours. As a solopreneur, it is easy to simply work when you feel like it. Because you manage your own time and resources, there's no one breathing down your neck to tell you when to work and when to sleep. This is an obvious benefit of being a solopreneur, but it comes with a drawback. Your work-to-break ratio can be completely skewed. Though it is okay to not follow a schedule every now and then, you need to have a pretty consistent work schedule to follow on your regular work days. Work hours can help you know when it's work time and when it's rest time. Make sure to schedule given breaks into your day, just as you would if you worked at an office. Two. Schedule off days. In addition to having work hours, make sure to schedule off days as well. Most solopreneurs have a wacky schedule that has them doing work seven days a week. Though there are some weeks where you may need to work more than others, you need to have consistent off days. If you have children, you might want to schedule your off days on the weekend when they're home from school. You can also schedule off days on any other day during the week if another day fits your schedule better. It doesn't matter when your off days are, just that you take them. 3. Plan for holidays, vacations, and sick days. Finally, the third tip for having a healthy work-to-break ratio is planning for holidays, vacations, and sick days. When you have a regular 9-to-5 job, you'll have paid vacation and sick days. Though you obviously won't get paid for these days when you work for yourself, that doesn't mean you shouldn't take them. Follow through. The three tips we mentioned above all relate to planning your work life in a way so that you have free time to focus on yourself and rejuvenate. It's important to note that these tips mean nothing if you're not willing to follow through. Make sure that you consistently stick to your work schedule complete with frequent breaks. Also, do not work at all on off days, holidays, vacations, and sick days. Though it may be difficult to fight the temptation to work, give yourself a break and view these off days as actual off days. If you need a little extra motivation to improve your work-to-break ratio, just remember that breaks are necessary for mental and physical health. If you don't take time off, you will get worn out and sick, causing you to experience burnout and produce lower quality work. In other words, taking more breaks leads to better work, which leads to a more successful business. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.